people, what is up you guys? My name is Ghost Version 1 and welcome back yet again to Reaction Week Installment 26. Month of Spooktober and we're trying to make things extra spooky and spooky, spooky scariness. Anyway, I'm talking fairly low because my wife's already sleeping. It's like 1.13 a.m. I'm all hopped up on energy drink and video games so I figured why the hell not? I might as well do some more recording. So, uh, Anyway, in this particular episode, we're reacting to some more scary videos. This was called Scary Compilation Version 6, or V6, whatever you want to call it, from Bezel Weird, or Bezel. What was it? Bezel Bub. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to hop on over. I've already got the lights all situated, so without further ado, here we go. In the middle of the night, Danny Donahue woke up to a noise that came from his bathroom. Here's what he caught on camera. Fuck that. Oh. Although obviously oh. fake, it sure is pretty damn scary. That's still spooky but just imagine as hell. How terrifying it would be to encounter oh. something like this in real life. Surely, those who are faint-hearted would not even dare to imagine themselves Ooh. in a situation <laughs> like this. That was good. <laughs> Sean Shutt and his friends were camping when, while sleeping inside a tent, they captured this. What is that? Yo, what the fuck is that? I'm sleeping in the car tonight. <laughs> Spirits, man. Oh, we're in the fucking, we're in the woods. I'm in. <laughs> Dude, I'm not sleeping tonight. <laughs> I'm not going camping again. It sure is a mystery as to what was outside making those noises. One thing is for sure though, they're not going to go camping ever again, or at least at this spot. Right? Vivian Ispatia had recently lost her cat from being run over by a car. She was in total shock after seeing her cat lying lifeless on the street. However, this wasn't as shocking as what she saw in the footage from the surveillance camera outside her home, which recorded the incident. Have a look at the footage and see if you notice anything unusual. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? If Bibian claims that her cat was dead and killed upon impact from being hit by a car, then what was this? His spirit still Let me going. Know what you think down below. <laughs> oh shit. While looking over at some footage from the camera in her living room, Tiffany Lala sees something pretty creepy. Uh, what? <laughs> 
The child you see in this footage is Tiffany's son, but she can't wrap her head around this footage, as she doesn't know why her son looks semi-transparent. Tiffany doesn't know what to make of this. However, many viewers have commented that her son might be astral projecting. Astral projection is the ability to have an out-of-body experience on command. Yeah. The ability to induce an out-of-body experience allows one's consciousness or soul to travel outside of its physical body and explore the universe. Although very cool, astral projecting could be dangerous. Uh, yeah. Those who've tried this have encountered unsettling things. From stories of people who've experienced unusual sensations, some of which have made people wake up in a cold sweat, to seeing things that are truly terrifying, Hi. It's probably best to do some research on knowing how to safely astral project before trying it out. Whether or not Tiffany captured actual footage of her son astral projecting is up for debate. But we can all agree that the footage alone is pretty creepy. It's pretty trip. Bets and Angel lives across from the woods and has been seeing something strange within them. Um, this is the area where we see that figure. It just walks back and forth every day, all day. Oh, there it is. Now, I've been over there a couple of times um, as I walk up on it. There's just nothing there. Um, yesterday I went, yesterday was Easter. I went over there, but two big dogs that were off leash came out, and uh, it was time to go. Then we had the storm. So as soon as we're done with our schoolwork, I will record myself going across the street and show you that as you walk over, you no longer see what appears to be a person pacing back and forth for just hours and hours and days. I think today's like day five. God damn. So. She's been seeing this figure for the past few days, and it's been doing the same thing each day, walking back and forth for hours on end. Bets and Angel has no idea as to what this person is doing. However, a few days later, she decides to head over to the woods to figure out what's going on. As she walks over with her husband, she records this. All right, well, well here's the spot. I don't see anything. No, I don't either. I mean, it's pretty full. Hello? Is anybody there? I'm so nervous. What was that? I don't know. Do you need help? The fuck? It sounds as though someone is yelling run. This may have been directed towards her and her husband as a warning. Had they walked any further, this individual could have harmed them. It isn't clear as to whether or not she called the police. But one thing I'm sure of is that she'll definitely stay away from the spot. The following video was posted by Lovetown, whose dog has been acting very strange. Whenever Lovetown's dog goes near the bathroom, he can't help but stare and sometimes growl at something that isn't there. Luckily, Lovetown was able to capture one of his reactions. Right. <laughs> While filming a video in the attic, Liliana encounters something pretty spooky. Why is she answering? She she's in there. I'm gonna be so mad. She's not in there.
with us for a long amount of time. It scared the shit out of me. Let's throw something at it. I shut it. Like, I, it closes with the lock. Slay, uh, I'm shaking. Mom! Mom! <laughs> what are you about? In 1991, Hello. in Sandy Hook, Connecticut, a young deer hunter was roaming in the woods when, what after the going hell further in, he finds what appears to be a doll carved out of wood. No. The wood dweller, the name given to this doll, was found resting atop a circular pinnacle of rocks. Circular the sight of this doll was so unsettling that it caused the young man to run as fast as he can back to his car. However, on his way there, he stumbles upon a man dressed in black. He's at a loss for words, as the sight of this hooded figure dressed in black from head to toe was really frightening. Duh. He then mustered up the courage to ask this mysterious individual for directions that would lead him out of the woods. The hooded figure did not respond. But after a few seconds, the hooded figure points at a direction to which the young hunter starts heading over. He came out of the woods unharmed, but who knows what could have happened had he confronted the hooded individual or stayed in the woods a little longer. Creepy. In the following video, someone was playing video games when, all of a sudden, there's a faint knock outside their door. But what happens afterwards, after they open the door, is pretty creepy. There's knocking on my door. And I don't know whether I should be scared or not. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my god, hello. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh Jesus. Oh, oh. <laughs> Mac T's mom had recently moved into a new house. However, she found something pretty creepy while moving in. In the bathroom, there are some ducks that are painted on the wall. Although there's nothing odd about the painting of these ducks, it's what's hiding behind the paint that's creepy. In one of the ducks' eyes, there's a peeping hole that points straight to the toilet. <laughs> but what's even more creepy is the fact that the person that lived here before his mom was an old lady that lived by herself. As always, what are your thoughts on this? Why that picture? Thanks for watching. And, and a I agree with what they said there. Why would there be a peeping hole in a duck? In a duck picture when the lady lived by herself. It's kind of weird. I mean, the, the wall was obviously th not thick enough to hold somebody, so what the hell? That's really weird. Uh, that's pretty creepy shit. That first one gave me chills. I mean, like you say, it was a fake, but it was a really, really good one. It gave me the fucking chills. That was super fucking spooky. Uh, but the other ones, it's like... <sighs> Remember what you think of stuff like that? A lot of spirits can't really harm you unless they're like demons or poltergeists or stuff like that. A lot of them are residual hauntings and stuff like that. I, I was looking into becoming a ghost hunter before I started wanting to do YouTube instead. So another reason it's why I got the equipment I've got. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, ghost hunting was a, a, a secret passion project of my own, of myself. So, you know, I've wanted to do it. And I've got some friends that wanted to do it, but they don't have, they have decent equipment, but not decent enough equipment. And I've lost a lot of my equipment. But I do have a decent camera, and uh, I got a new setup type thing I'm going to use for the other project I'm going to start soon. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to do it for this episode of uh, Reaction Week. I don't think we're going to do um, any No Evil this week, and that's just because I want it to be spooky, scary stuff, and get myself scared and get that chill going up my spine, look at my camera, make sure there's no one behind me, and stuff like that. And especially when I start doing horror games, and I'm, it's going to make me even more freaking paranoid. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this month's going to be full of nothing but spook scares and hilarious fun times. So, all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Feel free to hit the subscri subscription button for I do upload every single day. 
Uh, I do occasionally miss, but you know, we're all humans. Sometimes you just don't feel like doing it. And sometimes I just run out of time, don't have time to do it. And also hit that notification bell because I am randomly prompted to do impromptu uh, live streams and stuff like that. You can also join the Discord, Facebook, Twitter, or anything like that in the description down below or in my banner above. All that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Hey, and peace out.